they're all lying to you. And by they, I mean channels like Critical Drinker, Nerdrotic, Geeks and Gamers, you know the normal, usual suspects who say they don't want messaging and activism in the media that they're watching and consuming. And the reason why they're lying to you is because they want you to believe that the only activism that actually exists is quote unquote, woke activism and woke activists. Activism can exist in any party, in any community, and there is absolutely 100% conservative activism. Now, this article came out today from The Hollywood Reporter, and it talks about Nelson Peltz criticizing Disney over their woke film strategy with Black Panther and Marvels. All right, so let's unpack that for a second. He's targeting movies with women and Black people in the lead roles, specifically, and saying woke. I mean, it doesn't get any more like mask off than this, but this, I feel like we're just spinning our wheels with it. We talk about it, we bring it up, we point it out, and people just want to be, you know, willfully ignorant to all of this or pretend and cope and gaslight and all of these things. The article here, there's a few quotes we're going to go over. We're not going to read the whole article. There's a few quotes we're going to go over. But if you're not familiar with Nelson Peltz, he's a billionaire, billionaire, businessman, investor, and uh, conservative activist. This is what he does. He comes in and he tries to roll back the clock on stuff to make it more white, more white centric. So let's read some of the quotes here from him. People go to watch a movie or a show to be entertained. They don't go to get a message. And this is another sort of argument that this community uses to try and prevent women, gay people, trans people, black people, any person of color from being present in films and entertainment. Because them existing on screen is a message to these people. Because they would tell you that, oh, watching, you know, black people in a scene together, experiencing things in their community that brings them joy is rubbing things in people's faces. It's making us get a message. It's, it's trying to shove something into our homes, into our movie screens and things like that. But if a white family in conservative America was talking about the Bible or religion or things like that, they would not call that a message. They would say that's just part of the story. It's this double standard they have, this hypocrisy that they have. Newsflash, gay people, black people, women existing and doing things is not a message. It is simply just part of the story. And then he goes on here to say, why do I have to have a Marvel, using Marvel in that way instead of Marvels, why do I have to have a Marvel that's all women? There is no uh, Marvel movie that is all women. There's not. doesn't exist. Not that I have anything against women, but why do I have that? Why do I have to have that? Well, if you're not against women, then why do you care? Why can't I have a Marvels that are both? Well, it was because one of the main characters in the Marvels movie was Samuel L. Jackson. He was one of the main cast members. It uh, just so happens that the leads of the movie were women, but there's a lot of supporting characters that were not women. Why do I need an all-black cast? I would ask, why don't you need an all-black cast? Because we're talking about the two movies that had a majority black cast members, not all black, but majority black cast members, which would be Black Panther and Wakanda Forever, both did extremely well. Black Panther made a ton of money for Marvel and Wakanda Forever made almost 900 million for Marvel. So maybe you should ask why uh, those movies outperformed other movies that had white leads in them. They overperformed some of the movies that have white lead characters in them. So it doesn't make any sense. It's like he's just ignoring the fact that those movies actually made money so he can be racist. Y'all, this man is 81 years old. And I'm bringing that up because that just goes to show how far removed he is from target demographics on entertainment. And what I mean by that is, if you look at the numbers, it almost always includes 18 to 45. That's the target audience. I'm not even in the target audience anymore. But 18 to 45 is the target audience. This man is 81. Now, I'm not saying he can't make good decisions. Obviously, there are people that, that could make good decisions at the top end. But if you come in and the, ask, the question you're asking is, why do I have to have black people in a movie? Why do I have to have an all black cast while looking at two movies that made a ton of money for Marvel? It seems to me like there's something else going on there. And then saying, why do I need all, an all women Marvel when that doesn't exist? There is no all women Marvel movie. That do, there's, there's not. There are, women, there are movies from Marvel where women are the lead characters, but but it's not an all woman movie. Um, so he's just talking about movies that are made with women in mind or presenting women as lead characters or heroes. That's the only thing he could mean because otherwise he's just lying and making stuff up, which I wouldn't be shocked about it. So this is activism. 
I'm trying to look for the correct term for this. It's like conservative activism, but it's something else. Obviously, racism and misogyny. And I mean, he'd probably be home. If there's a character in a movie that lead character that was gay, he'd probably be homophobic. If there's a trans character that was lead, he'd probably be transphobic. Basically, he wants to come in and take away all of the woke. And again, what is woke if it's not diversity? What is woke if it's not just being diverse? Because are you arguing that a movie like Black Panther made about a character that comes from a, a tribe in Africa, that that movie is woke because it's all black characters in that tribe? Is that what makes it, is that what you're arguing is woke? Or women being in lead of a movie, classic uh, women from comics that have always been women? Nothing's changed. They're literally lifted from the comics and put in the movies. What's woke about that? Is it just having women in movies? Because if you subtract all that other stuff, that's the only thing it could be. So this is like con conservative activism against progressive media. That's what it is. And none of these channels are going to call it out. I can already predict now, if they do address it, channels like Nerd Roddick, like Geeks and Gamers, Ryan Cannell, all these guys, if they address this, it's going to be done from a positive in their regards. Like they're going to talk about this like it's a good thing. Like what this man is doing is good. And he's speaking the truth um, because his activism is good. But any sort of diversity in terms of activism is bad. And that is a double standard. If you're going to say you don't want activism in movies and TV shows, you don't want a message, then that means you don't want that at all, which means this guy coming in and saying that all of these things are messages and we need to go back to other stuff that is also just entertainment with characters and stories and backgrounds and families who were just white men, then you need to really reflect on that, like seriously reflect on that. If you've gone on to enjoy this video, please consider hitting subscribe and becoming part of the revolution and part of the Eric verse where we fight back against that nasty algorithm. We jump in the river and we break it up and dismantle it from the inside. If you'd like to do that and have your voice being heard, then you can certainly do that by subscribing, leaving a like, and definitely going down in the comment section and leaving your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, keep people like this far away from like entertainment. These like this person does not understand modern media. He doesn't. He's just a mouthpiece for a bunch of rich white men that want things to go back to the way they were. And we're not going to let that happen.